when he's 100, and he's sure he's going to be, expects still to be going out on stage each night singing great balls of fire. 25 years ago, he was one of the architects of rock and roll. But now Elvis is gone and the Beatles are split. But Jerry Lee Lewis, as he's had to so many times, is once again making a comeback. Here comes the killer! You broke my wheel, what a thrill Couldn't miss the race, you quick call the fire I let the know but I thought it was funny You came along, and woo, and honey I changed my mind, but it's fine Couldn't miss the race, you quick call the fire Street, Memphis, Tennessee. May not look like much, but as much as any place on earth, this is where rock and roll began. Back in the mid-50s, this dingy storefront, which was a dingy storefront then, was the home of the old Sun Record Company. In 55 and 56, the young men who would be the instigators of this new rock music were starting their careers right here in this studio. Elvis Presley and Roy Orbison and Carl Perkins and a brash young 21-year-old who sold eggs to pay his way up to Memphis to cut a demonstration record. That first record sold a few copies, so he made another. This one. Twenty years later, John Lennon would declare this had been the perfect rock and roll record. But at the time, it scandalized this nation, sexually suggestive. Radio stations banned it. Until on TV one night, Steve Allen. Here he is, jumping and jolting, Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, come on over, baby. We got chicken in the barn. Who's the barn? What's the barn? My barn. Come on, honey. We got to move our home. Oh, we ain't breaking. Whole lot of shaking going on. Easy now, shake. Oh, shake, baby. You can shake one time for me. After this TV show, the record sold millions and the career was begun. Years later, Jerry Lee would name his second son, Steve Allen. Now, let's go. Shake! Shake! Honey, shake! Shake, baby! Shake, baby! Shake! A kid from Faraday, Louisiana. Poor folks who mortgaged their house when Jerry Lee was eight to buy him a piano, which he taught himself to play, and which he still has. My dreams are getting better all the time. Ivory's gone. A whole lot of shakings happened on this old keyboard. If that piano could talk, we'd both be in trouble. By the time he was 22, in less than two years, he had sold 20 million records. Two of his songs had gone to the top of four different charts. Nobody, including Elvis, would ever accomplish that. But as quickly as success had come, it would vanish. Jerry Lee showed up in London for concerts with his new bride, his 13-year-old third cousin. Well, again, the world was scandalized. Stations refused to play his records. His fees dropped from $10,000 a night to 150. He scratched. He cut an instrumental record without his name. But disc jockeys, recognizing that piano style, wouldn't play it. It would be a long struggle. It took me 12 years yeah. to make that comeback. But when I did, I made it. I knew I'd make it. And then? I traveled on the road 12 years straight on the road. 315, 325, and 30 days a year. Day in, day out, year in and year out in the back seat of a car six, seven, eight hundred miles a day. Every day, every day, every day. Were you just as good in those lean years? As I am now, I ever was. Well, I got lots of golden memories. Honey, I'll admit I've had my fun. The memories of the fun, 
of how success once had tasted kept him going through the lean years and through the tragedies. Five divorces, his son, Steve Allen Lewis, drowned, his other son killed in a car crash, and through all the booze and all the pills. I guess I took him up enough field for the whole town. Drank enough whiskey to lift any ship off the ground. I used to drink a fifth of tequila to sober up on. He drank two and three fifths of whiskey a day and a fifth of tequila to sober up on to do my chef. If I tried something like that now, I wouldn't last 10 minutes. I separate them, darling. Hey, you're, you're my memory. You're number one. Last summer, the killer almost died. He was rushed to this hospital late one night with a perforated stomach. They still don't know what caused that, but for the next several days, it didn't appear Jerry Lee Lewis would live. Two difficult operations, two months in intensive care before he could get out, begin to recuperate, and try to come back. I'm Jerry Lee Lewis, originally from Faraday, Louisiana, and um, I live in Nesbitt, Mississippi, about 10 miles out of Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm just happy to see you fine folks, and thank God I'm, I'm living and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Affairs, swears to God he ain't had any, but he's got a young thing beside him, boy she understands, he's just a little middle-aged crazy, trying to prove he still can. The killer trying to prove, despite all he's been through, he still can. Come on, Mama. we got chicken in the bar. Well, judge for yourself. We found him one night recently in the smokiest dive in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, now, granted, he says he's not drinking as much. He's cut back his schedule, only one show a night, and only four or five nights a week, not seven. But aside from that, it's been 25 years, but look, what's changed? not going to be banging the piano with you your know? feet and How still you know singing that? rock and roll. How do you know that? Do you I heard people you say that 25 years ago to me. Do you think you are? 30 years ago, 35 years ago, I had people tell that to me. Isn't it? But Jerry Lee, And I've seen them buried in the casket, brother. But 35 years from now... I've seen them come and go. You just refuse to let me suggest that there I might don't come like a time that you're I'll be here when morning comes. And if I die tomorrow, I will have cheesed more than all these bastards put together. <laughs> now, enough. You go ahead. <laughs> no, I like I it. I love talking on these things. Especially when another camera on me, man, I can love it. <laughs> you do? <laughs> really, that stirs me up. You see that enthusiasm for the camera and for the audience. And you look around his beautiful home outside Memphis and begin to realize why he's hardly ever here and why he'll never retire. For Jerry Lee, on the road is home. Jerry Lee, you've got a beautiful place here to, to just settle down in and, and to stop. I would love to retire. That's a to. great thought. Sit back and fish and never play no no music. Wow, wait a minute. That's the hitch, yeah. No, I'd have to find me some honky tonk guy here with two or three people in there or something to play some songs. I couldn't take that. wonder why can't you and I sometimes in music circles they like to speculate how giant a star could the killer have been if only he'd had a Colonel Parker to manage him as Elvis did but then they realize no that could never have been the killer isn't manageable 
You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much loving drives a man insane. You broke my wheel. What a thrill. Goodness, it's the race. Quick call the fire. Next week on Today, an inside look at the terrorist Red Brigade. Also, interviews with John Ehrlich, President Reagan's right hand man, Jim Baker, actress Terry Garr, actor Stuart Margolin, animal keeper Marlon Perkins, operas Beverly Sills, new film sensation Treat Williams, Bess Myers on How to Keep Thin, and Bryant Gumbel previews the Super Bowl. Join Bryant, Jane Pauley, Chris Wallace, Gene Shallot, and Willard Scott with the weather every weekday morning for today on NBC. Over the rainbow I just wonder why Can't you and I Oh yeah, here we go